I have no choice but to fight. April 2024 on Netflix is shaping up to be an absolute feast for series lovers, as Netflix is rolling out more series than movies. Plus for the movie buffs, Netflix is dropping the second part of one of this year's most anticipated movies. So get ready for a ton of binge-worthy content coming your way this month. So starting with the first big release of the month, we have Ripley. It's a psychological thriller that will take you on a ride through deceit, fraud, and murder. Andrew Scott plays Tom Ripley, a man with a talent for impersonation and a lack of moral compass, who is hired to retrieve a rich man's son from Italy. So if you're into mind games, then make sure not to miss it on April 4th. Then on the 7th, we have a South Korean horror series, Parasite the Grey. It's a story where humanity is under threat from parasites taking over human hosts. Based on a popular manga, this series promises action, suspense, and a bit of existential dread. Then on April 10th, we've got a French thriller series that's got everyone talking, Anthracite. It's set in a small mountain town with a dark past and an even darker present. A reporter vanishes, and his daughter, who's a bit of a web detective, comes to town and uncovers a world of secrets, cults, and danger. If you're into offbeat, gritty stories with a touch of mystery, Anthracite, is right up your alley. Also releasing on the 10th is the hijacking of Flight 601. It's based on one of Latin America's most dramatic events, drawing inspiration from the longest aerial hijack in history. This Colombian drama will keep you on the edge of your seat. It's about a plane hijacking where the flight attendants become unlikely heroes as they try to outweat the hijackers. With intense negotiations happening both in the air and on the ground, it's a gripping tale of courage and quick thinking. Now for something completely different, Unlock. A Jail Experiment is a reality TV series that takes you inside an Arkansas detention facility where a sheriff is trying something new. He's giving the incarcerated men more control over their lives as part of a social experiment. It's sure to spark conversations about reform and rehabilitation. Then on the 19th, we have the much-awaited sequel of Zack Snyder's epic saga, Rebel Moon Part 2. The Scar Giver. It continues the story of Korra and her band of warriors as they brace for a monumental battle against the oppressive forces of the mother world. If you love the first part, you're in for a treat with even more action and drama as the story unfolds. Next on April 25th is Dead Boy Detective Season 1, a much-anticipated Netflix series based on DC Comics characters. The story revolves around Edwin Payne and Charles Rowland, two ghostly teens who decide not to enter the afterlife. Instead, they remain on Earth to solve supernatural mysteries, offering a fresh take on ghost stories through their adventures. Now here's a bunch more new releases I'm gonna cover real quick, starting with the magic prank show with Justin Willman. He and his team have spent three years crafting this unique show that merges magic and pranks in ways never seen before. On the third is Files of the Unexplained, this investigative docuseries delves into paranormal occurrences and mysterious disappearances that have puzzled humans for generations. On the fourth is the German crime drama series Crooks, which revolves around a priceless coin that ignites a war among multiple gangs. Also releasing on the fourth is I Woke Up a Vampire, season one. This is a quirky series perfect for the preteen audience. It follows Carmi, who wakes up on her 13th birthday to discover she's half vampire. Then we have a British drama film, Scoop. It's a gripping retelling of the events leading up to the BBC's infamous interview with Prince Andrew. It releases on April 5th, along with the antisocial network, Memes to Mayhem. This documentary delves into the chaotic world of internet memes and how they've influenced real-world events. Then on the 11th, we have Baby Reindeer, a drama series based on Richard Gadd's award-winning stage play. It follows the story of a comedian whose act of kindness towards a vulnerable woman spirals into a suffocating obsession. Next on the 12th, we have a biopic film from Bollywood, Amar Singh Chamkila. On the 24th, there's a Swedish drama, Deliver Me, which delves into the aftermath of a horrific crime committed by a 14-year-old. 
It explores the complex question of responsibility in a society quick to label children as monsters. On the 25th, we have a Japanese live-action adaptation of the legendary manga, City Hunter. Now let's quickly take a look at the best films and shows that are returning or being re-released on Netflix. Starting from the first, we've got Baby Driver from 2017. It's all about thrilling car chases and awesome music. Then there's Night Raiders and The Little Things also coming out on the first, adding some fresh stories to the mix. On the eighth, Don't Miss Megan Levy, a heartwarming tale about a soldier and her dog. Fast forward to the 16th, and you'll find Anna hitting the screens that is packed with action. And if you're into pirates and adventures, Black Sails, covering all seasons from one to four, sails in on the 17th. So these are the movies and shows that are releasing in the month of April. Let me know which ones you're looking forward to the most.